Yeah, uh, Suradhima, good evening and, and uh, welcome to Learn for Exam. I'm really very Thanks. happy that you cracked NMIMS Mumbai. Uh, so tell me, Thanks. tell me about your profile, Suradhima. So uh, I'm an electronics and communication engineer and I graduated in 2019 and my NMAP score is 210 and uh, my 10th percentage is 81%, 12th it's 92 and my graduation percentage is 77%. Okay. Uh, tell us about your entire NMAT journey. So when did it start? What made you do an MBA? Think think about an MBA. How did you start your preparations, your entire MBA journey of that? So, so um, I think by, uh, I think I was in uh, third year of my graduation when I actually decided that uh, I want to do an MBA. So for that, I think it was my uh, sixth semester that I joined the uh, local coaching and I used to uh, prepare as well as like obviously I had to manage college along with that. So my first attempt at uh, NMAT was in 2018 and I scored 183 and that was the only attempt that um, I made in that year. Then after that coming to 2019 I gave two attempts. Uh, one was in window 2 in which I scored 202. And the next was in window 5, in which I scored a 210. So I'll just point out the mistakes that I made in 2018 attempt and this, uh, which I improved on. Mm -hmm. uh, so firstly, uh, the preparation stat strategy. So there's a misconception that like when if you're preparing for CAT, then the rest of the B school entrances are uh, covered. But with NMAT, it's not the case because uh, the syllabus are vastly different and also uh, especially the uh, verbal ability and logical reasoning uh, sections, okay. they're very different. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was one mistake that I made. I did not focus on NMAT specifically. I just focused on CAT at that point. Then uh, the second mistake I made was that I gave, I think, just two or three marks. Mm -hmm. um, and also because NMAT is a time-based exam so I didn't realize in just those two three mocks that what should I improve on and how should I get the timing right so that I can um, do all the questions in time and the third mistake that I made was that the window that I selected the window selection was a mistake in uh, 2008 okay so uh, that year I gave my exam just one attempt and that too in window four, which is the same window in which uh, CAD uh, exam is. So that was another mm -hmm. mistake that, that I made. Coming to section wise, how I uh, prepared was uh, in the verbal ability section, uh, the RC and para jumbles. Uh, so for those, I just, um, I think practiced a lot of uh, uh, topic test basically through topic tests I practiced a lot and also I um, got myself into the habit of reading and from uh, diverse topics so that I knew what I was like if uh, for example a um, passage comes which is from a very different field like if I, I'm an engineer, so I'll probably understand technology or not. But if mm -hmm. it comes from psychology or something else, so uh, I read very diverse topics when it came to, uh, came to articles and essays. Then another thing is that in NMAT, uh, the verbal ability section has a lot of vocabulary-based questions, right. be it uh, synonyms, antonyms, or fill in the suitable words. So for that, what I did was uh, that I um, completed um, word power made easy uh, mm -hmm. by normal use and not just once I think I uh, completed it minimum I think three times because first time it took me a while to actually complete it but the second and the third time I just read it and it actually helps a lot because a lot of words are there straight from the book so it's a very good um, strategy for increasing your vocabulary and also what I did was that I made a um, diary for myself where uh, whichever word I came across um, while I was reading the newspaper or any article, I used to write that down. I used to write the
the usage in a sentence and also the synonyms and antonyms so that and i used to go through it like every week whichever yeah. words i used to come across so that also helped a lot then coming to lrdi section so i think from uh, last year uh, a lot of questions in uh, the lrdi se- lr section uh, are critical mm-hmm. reasoning questions and in Good. both of my attempts there were around 18 or 20 questions that were critical reasoning mm-hmm. and then again they are like um, small paragraphs but there, there's so little time that you have to um, cope up like with your like you have to improve your reading basically Correct. so uh, for that also for the critical uh, reasoning questions uh, learn for exam had around 10 topic tests and those topic tests like helped me a lot i gave them and then i used to go through the uh, solutions very thoroughly even the ones that i uh, that were correct i used to go through it so that i know what logic is being used maybe i could use it uh, in other um, lr uh, cr mm-hmm. questions then uh, puzzles and input output coming to puzzles and input output again a lot of practice a lot of practice and uh, especially i used to practice from the learn for exam ebooks because they had a lot of previous years questions so okay. that also helped me a lot um, for quants i used to uh, practice from um, um, sorry i used to practice from um, quantum cat yes quantum cat by sarvesh varma so uh, that book has like different levels level 1 to 3 so i used to practice level 1 and 2 and majorly i used to focus on uh, improving my calculation speed because again uh, while giving the mocks i used to realize that i used to miss a, a lot of questions by the end because my calculation speed was a little um, slow Mm-hmm. so i used to time myself also so that i can solve maximum questions in around say 30 minutes so like i used to time it accordingly then again uh, i brushed up my tables i um, learned squares and cubes till like 30 which also only helped in increasing the uh, speed of my calculations so Uh, that is all i did okay so uh, how, how what what are the products or specific areas that you think that we helped you you know be a very better standard of yourself so particularly for uh, this exam right for nmat let's say so i think for nmat uh, as i said that uh, practicing like give as many mocks as possible that, that is uh the biggest thing that i learned that only through giving mocks can one keep improving and analyzing them specially so i used to go through it a lot uh, go through the analysis a lot because then you then you realize that maybe uh, i should have taken uh, this logic would have better helped me solve this particular question so for that reason um, analysis is very important then i also um uh, focused on the timing so all, it's primarily uh, a time based exam so i focused on improving as much as uh, possible when it came to my timing like how many questions am i able to cover and everything then topic tests i would say topic tests also helped me a lot um and also yes uh, the strategies that gurpreet sir gave uh, used to tell us uh like how to go about uh, a particular section so you he used to tell us like two three strategies and with, like whichever suits you you know you have to choose that and that can only happen when you actually give mocks as many number of times as possible so that you know this one works the best for me right right and and rudima what would you say to aspirants who are preparing for nmat 2020 so again i would say give as many mocks as possible um complete word power meet easy brush up on your uh, tables your squares to help you a lot to help you a lot actually and then also don't remember to like uh, don't forget to uh, strategize your attempts like whatever uh, 
whichever window you want to give in, just strategize it whichever date you want to pick. So this is a very good um, uh, option in NMAT that you actually can decide when you want to give an exam. So I think Correct. one should choose that very well. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that would be all, Rizma. So really, I'm very happy to see you into get into NMIMS Mumbai, which uh, which was one of your choices, if I remember. Uh, yes. You told me in one of my classes, right? So, yes. so uh, what's what's your feeling now that you'd be joining NMIMS Mumbai? So I I honestly cannot wait. I'm just waiting uh, when this pandemic is over, so that I can actually experience that uh, the peace school life. Finally, mm -hmm. and again, I want to thank you, Gurpreet, and the entire team of Sirlon for exam. I don't think it would have been possible without the guidance that you all gave us. So, thank you so much, sir. Yeah, okay, so thanks a lot, Rudhima, and I really wish you all the best in your life and thank do you, good. Sir. Thank, you. thank you so much, sir. Thank you.